Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on the Indian sage Rabindranath Tagore's contribution to the development of educational thought for social change. Uh, what are his views uh, that promoted uh, social change? That is the idea here. Thank you very much for your presence. I am Dr. I. G. Sudhas, a former associate professor and research supervisor from South India. I have just uploaded quite a lot of videos nationally and internationally. So thank you for your presence. Let us right away enter into the topic. Rabindranath Tagore's contribution to education and thought for social change. Rabindranath Tagore was a major figure in Indian history, known not only as a poet and philosopher, but also as a forward-thinking educator. His ideas on education, particularly regarding social change, had a profound impact. Tagu's educational philosophy was closely tied to his vision for societal transformation, societal transformation, especially during India's colonial and post-colonial periods. What was Tagu's educational vision? Tagu believed education was not just about gaining knowledge, but about developing the whole person intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. He emphasized that a real education fosters personal growth, helping people live in harmony with others and nature. Instead of promoting rote learning and memorization, which was common under British colonial rule, he advocated for an education that encouraged creativity, freedom, and self-expression. A key idea for Tagore was that education should be connected with nature. He criticized the rigid mechanical education system of his time, which he felt was disconnected from real life. Tagu believed education should be more organic and linked to natural surroundings, helping students feel connected to the world around them. His institution, Shantini Ketan, reflected this belief, combining learning with nature and offering students an environment where they could learn by experience, not just by instruction. Forum education was for social change. Tagore saw education as a powerful tool for transforming society. He believed education was not just for personal development, but for the betterment of society as a whole. He was deeply aware of the social problems of his time, such as poverty, inequality, and the marginalization of women and other groups, and saw education as a way to address these problems. So, for, uh, he, he had the notion of building national consciousness. Tagu supported a free and independent India, but rejected narrow nationalism. He felt education could help build a national consciousness based on universal values like tolerance, inclusion, and love for humanity. Tagu stressed the importance of breaking down barriers of caste, religion, and nationality, encouraging people to see themselves as part of a larger, connected world. He believed education should promote unity and prepare people to contribute to the social and political progress of the nation while fostering a global outlook. Then improving rural development. Tagore was passionate about addressing rural poverty and underdevelopment. He believed education could play a role, key role in improving rural life and introduced several programs to provide education in villages, particularly through the Sriniketan experiment in Shantiniketan. He promoted practical education and vocational training, believing this would empower rural communities to become self-sufficient, boosting economic progress and reducing the gap between the rural and urban India. Then promoting women's education. Tagore was a strong advocate for women's education and at a time when women were often denied access to formal education. He believed that educating women was crucial for creating a just and equal society. Tagore felt educated women would not only uplift their families but also play a vital role in driving social change. At uh, Shantini Ketan, he encouraged women to pursue education and participate in all areas of learning. His humanism and global education. Tagu's uh, educational philosophy was rooted in humanism. 
he believed in the fundamental unity of all people and wanted an education system that crossed the boundaries of nation, religion and race. For him, the purpose of education was not just to gain knowledge, but to foster a sense of shared humanity. He believed education should create individuals who are not only knowledgeable, but also compassionate and committed to improving society. Tagore also promoted what we now call global education. He wanted an education system that prepared people for an interconnected world, one that bridged cultural divides and promoted mutual understanding among different nations. He set up Visma Bhagavad University to bring together Eastern and Western cultures, promoting the ideas of universal brotherhood and global citizenship. Education through the arts. He promoted education through the arts. Tagu strongly believed in the role of the arts in education. He felt that creative expression through music, poetry, dance and visual arts was essential for a well-rounded education. At his schools, the arts were a key part of the curriculum with the students encouraged to express themselves creatively and develop a love for beauty. Tagu saw the arts not just as the entertainment, entertainment, but as a powerful way to transform both individuals and society. Critic of colonial education. He criticized very much the colonial education. Tagu was a vocal critic of the British colonial education system in India, which he saw as alienating and oppressive in India. He believed it was a design to create obedient workers rather than independent thinkers. Tagu's vision for education was to free individuals from this restrictive system, giving them the tools to think critically, fight injustice, and work toward a more fair and just society. So, his legacy was a lasting one. Tagu's ideas on education remain relevant today as his emphasis on holistic education, learning through experience, and integrating nature, and the arts continues to inspire educators. His belief in using education as a tool for social change is still influential in modern discussions about education reform, particularly in addressing issues like inequality and cultural intolerance. Tagore's vision for education as a means of social transformation was deeply rooted in his faith in individuals' ability, ability to shape a better future. Through his pioneering work, he not only challenged the oppressive system, but also laid out a blueprint for education that would create a more just and inclusive world. What we can give as concluding remarks, Rabindranath and Tagore's contributions to education and thought have had a lasting impact, not just in India, but worldwide. His ideas on education were inseparable from his vision for social change. By advocating for an education that promotes creativity, freedom, and shared humanity, Tagore offered a powerful model for how education can be used to transform society. His legacy as an educator continues to inspire efforts to create more just, inclusive, and compassionate communities through education. Let us analyze some of the questions. What was Rabindranath Tagore's central belief about education? Education is only about accumulating knowledge. Education should focus on road memorization. Education should nurture the whole being. Education should follow rigid rules and disciplines. So what is the correct answer? What was Tagu's central belief about education? That is, education should nurture the whole being. Tagu believed that education should not just be about accumulating knowledge, but about the holistic development of an individual, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. What did Tagore criticize about the education system during his time? It encouraged creativity and freedom. It was disconnected from real life and nature. It was too focused on the arts. It promoted global understanding. What is the right answer? It was disconnected. The education was disconnected from real life and nature. Tagore criticized the colonial education system for being mechanical and detached from the natural world, advocating instead for a more organic, experience-based approach to learning. Tagus institution, Shantini Ketan, embodied which of the following principles, road memorization, 
education through industrialization, harmony with nature, education for clerical jobs. Harmony with nature, that is what Shantini Ketan aimed at. Shantini Ketan was based on Tagus' philosophy of integrating education with nature, offering students a nurturing environment that promoted experiential learning. What was Tagus' ultimate goal for education? To create workers for the British Empire, to develop individuals intellectually only, to create holistic individuals capable of social transformation, to focus solely on national consciousness. That is to create holistic individuals capable of social transformation. Tagus saw education as a means of creating well-rounded individuals who could contribute to both personal growth and societal change. Tagus believed that education should contribute to each of the following. Strengthening the British colonial system, preparing individuals for narrow nationalism, fostering unity and inclusivity, isolating individuals from global cultures, which he, uh, you know, uh, according to him, education should promote. Fostering unity and inclusivity. Tagore believed education should break down barriers of caste, religion, and nationality, promoting unity, tolerance, and inclusivity. What was the purpose of Tagus Shantiniketan experiment? To educate urban elites, to bring modern education to rural communities, to spread British ideas in India, to create a university for global studies, to bring modern education to rural communities. Shantiniketan aimed at providing rural education that included vocational training and practical knowledge to uplift the rural areas and promote self-sufficiency. Tagus' contribution to women's education was important because he believed only women would bring about social change. He wanted to exclude women from higher education. He saw women's education as crucial for societal improvement, improvement or development. He focused only on vocational training for women. What is the question? Tagus' contribution to women's education was important because he saw women's education as crucial for societal development. Tagore believed that by educating women, society could advance more equitably and women could contribute, contribute to broader social change. Tagore's concept of the universal man was based on what? Promoting rigid national identity, emphasizing competition among nations, cultivating shared humanity and universal values, isolating individuals from their own cultures. So Tagus concept of universal man was based on cultivating shared humanity and universal values. Tagus idea of universal man focused on creating individuals who embrace shared humanity, transcending national and cultural boundaries. What role did the arts play in Tagus philosophy of education? A secondary part of the curriculum, a means for rote memorization, a crucial component for creativity and self-expression, a form of entertainment with no educational value. What role did the arts play in Tagus philosophy of education? A crucial component for creativity and self-expression. Tagus believed that the arts, music, the arts, music, dance, poetry were essential for developing creativity and nurturing the imagination, which were vital for personal and social growth. What was Tagus' critique of the colonial education system? It promoted intellectual freedom, it alienated individuals and served the British Empire, it empowered marginalized communities, it fostered creativity and self-expression. Which is the right one? What was Tagus a critique of the colonial education system? The British colonial system alienated individuals and served the uh, British Empire according to him. Tagus criticized the colonial education system for being oppressive and designed to produce subservient individuals to serve British interests rather than fostering independent thought and creativity. Tagus Viswabharata University was founded to promote technical education, isolate Indian culture from the world, facilitate cultural exchange between the East and West, train people for British administration. That is to facilitate cultural exchange between the East and West. That was his aim, Viswabharata's aim. So Tagore is established in Vishwabharata University as a place where the cultures of the East and West could meet, promoting mutual understanding and universal human values. In Tagore's view, the true purpose of education was producing class for colonial administration, developing technical skills only, 
holistic development and social transformation, memorization of colonial history. So, what is the true purpose of education according to holistic development and social transformation? Tagore believed education should lead to the overall development of individuals and empower them to bring about positive social change. Which educational institution founded by Tagore emphasized learning through experience? Srini Katan, University of Calcutta, Naranda University, Vishwabharati University. So, which, which educational institution founded by Tagore emphasized learning through experience? That is Srini Katan. Srini Katan was Tagore's initiative aimed at providing rural communities with practical education and vocational training, promoting learning through experience. Tagore's emphasis on rural education aimed at what? Developing a workforce for urban factories, uplifting rural communities and reducing poverty, isolating rural communities from modern education, teaching rural people only about religion. Tagore's emphasis on rural education aimed at uplifting rural communities and reducing poverty. Tagore wanted education to help the rural communities become self-sufficient, which would lead to economic progress and reduce the divide between urban and rural areas. Tagore's approach to education can best be described as what? Authoritarian and rigid, creative and nature-centric, focused only on intellectual development, rooted in Western traditions. Tagore's approach to education can best be described as creative and nature-centric. Tagore's educational philosophy was based on creativity, self-expression, and a deep connection with nature, rejecting rigid authoritarian methods of instruction. Tagore's educational reforms were primarily aimed at what? Strengthening British rule in India, creating industrial workers, promoting holistic individual growth and social change, isolating Indian culture from the rest of the world. So, Tagore's educational reforms were primarily aimed at promoting holistic individual growth and social change. Tagore believed in an education that nurtured the whole being, enabling individuals to grow intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually, ultimately contributing to social transformation. Tagore's advocacy for women's education was significant because he believed women should only be educated for household tasks. He saw women's education as a key to societal progress. He wanted to limit women's participation in public life. He focused only on educating men. So Tagore's advocacy for, advocacy for women's education was significant because he saw women's education as key to societal progress. Tagore believed that educating women was essential for creating a just and equitable society and women would play a crucial role in social change. Which of the following is true about Tagore's view of nationalism? He supported aggressive nationalism. He opposed narrow and chauvinistic nationalism. He believed that nationalism should be explored foreign cultures. He promoted nationalism above global understanding. Which of the following is true about Tagore's view of nationalism? He opposed a narrow and chauvinistic nationalism. Tagore believed in fostering a sense of national consciousness, but opposed a narrow nationalism that excluded global and universal values. Tagore integrated the arts in the education because he believed the arts were essential for creativity and self-expression. He thought arts had no place in serious education. He wanted students to memorize facts about art history. He wanted to produce professional artists, which is the right one. Tagore integrated the arts into education because he believed the arts were essential for creativity and self-expression. Tagore considered the arts to be a fundamental part of education as they foster creativity and allow individuals to express themselves freely. Tagore's education system sought to break down barriers related to industrialization, road memorization, caste, religion and nationality, gender specific roles, which is the right one. <coughs> Cost, religion, and nationality. Tagore believed that education should help individuals at constant barriers of caste, religion, and nationality, promoting inclusivity and unity. Tagore's educational philosophy is best aligned with which of the following modern concepts standardized testing, holistic education, memorization based learning, colonial education. Holistic education. Tagore's emphasis on nurturing on intellectual, emotional, and spiritual aspects of individuals closely aligned with the modern concept of holistic education. 
<laughs> what was one of the key social changes Tagore aimed for through education? Suppressing rural communities, increasing practice influence, reducing rural urban divide, promoting caste-based education. Which was one of the key social changes Tagore aimed for through education? Reducing rural urban divide. Tago uh, sought to use education to uplift the rural communities and reduce the growing divide between urban and rural India. Tago's philosophy of learning through experience was implemented in which of his institutions? Nalanda University, University of Calcutta, Srinikatan, Banaras Hindu University. So Tago's philosophy of learning through experience was implemented in which of his institutions? That is Srinikatan. Srinikatan focused on practical experience based learning, particularly for rural communities, to promote self sufficiency and economic progress. Tagore believed that true education should encourage memorization of facts, prepare students for industrial jobs only, help individuals live harmoniously with others and nature, be limited to urban areas. That is to help individuals live harmoniously with others and nature. According to him, that was true education. Tagore's philosophy emphasized education as a means of fostering harmony between individuals, society, and nature, rejecting rote learning. Thank you very much, dear friends. God bless you. Let us meet in other video lectures.